Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Welcome if you are new. We have an exciting video today. It is just a weekend vlog and it's only like a little bit exciting. But... We don't have to deal with this anymore! Look at it! It's already proven my point. It went out of focus there. So, you are not being filmed on this. You are being filmed on the old camera. I... I've got the camera, I've been talking about it for ages. This this is more exciting if you're a subscriber, if you've been around for a while, uh, because you have been putting up with terrible, terrible focus and not great quality for a long time, depending on how long you've been around, if you've been since the beginning. <laughs> you are amazing, you have very, very good patience, but hopefully we don't have to deal with it anymore. So, I basically this came about because last week it's such a weird thing isn't it how it came about it's so weird I basically on my travel account obviously follow a lot of photographers actually I don't even think it was on my travel account I think it was on my main account and a photographer that I follow was selling a Sony EV10 so this is the ZV1 bit of a spoiler but he was selling the Sony EV10 ZV10 ZV E10 mm -hmm confusing that camera is sony's other vlogging camera like sony has i think it's three main vlogging cameras there's the zv1 the zv e10 i don't know what the other one is the ev10 is very similar to the one that i'm filming this on now where it's got a detachable lens and it's like a bigger frame like it so if you don't know photography big cameras so like my big photography camera that's a full frame camera and then vlogging cameras tend to be a very small sensor camera and this one that I'm filming on now and the e E10 is actually like in the middle so it's meant to be like good quality for video and camera this one not so much but the EV10 is newer so it definitely would be and it's a, it has detachable lenses so you could get different lenses for different things and it would be good for photography and videography and vlogging and this guy was selling that second hand for a very very reasonable price and basically it just sent me into like a choice crisis didn't know what to do and it took me like three days because I was like right I can kind of afford this camera if I take because I have still like a pot in Monzo for a new camera from when I was making more money and I've just stopped putting in that pot but I didn't want to touch that money so I had 200 quid in this pot and then I have money from Christmas and my last birthday from May and I was like if I put them together I nearly have the amount that I need for buying it off this photographer and Jack was like well I'll give you the rest because it was only like 40 50 quid mm -hmm. that I needed so I was like I kind of can't afford it it's a really good opportunity to get a vlogging camera and then I was like right well I need to decide if I want to get this one or if I want to get the one that I've been saving for for ages the one that's on my vision board uh the one that's been on my want list for like two three years so I was like right I need to make a decision and it took me like three days to make a decision and then I came with the decision that I wanted the ZV-1 because it's just a little bit be better for vlogging and I don't really need another photography camera because I have my Canon which is a very big expensive camera so really it was just me wanting to have another photography camera for no reason so and it's a convenience as well as like it's it is and... because it's a tiny little camera you don't the lens goes like back into the camera whereas with the E10 it's a lens and you also have to buy lenses the lens that he was coming with didn't have image stabilization and i needed that so i would have had to have buy the lens so it was figuring out that buying it second hand off henry ravenscroft i'll put his instagram below he like what was my what was i saying buying it second hand with then i'd have to buy the image stabilization lens was actually going to come at the same price as this new so i was like ah, well i'll just jack was very very helpful and he's here by the way, that's why I like tapped over here, I'm tapping his name. I came up with the decision to buy the ZV-1 and then Jack was like, but why don't you just get it now? And I was like, I can't afford it now. New, it's 650 quid and I do not have that money. And Jack was like, well, I can give you it, like I can help you out with it. Because obviously he's the income for this house. But it was just like, oh, but I don't, I like, because 
what is my pl my plan has been when I start bringing more income from YouTube and I have like more of an actual income rather than 60 quid every two months I would buy it and Jack was like yeah but you're just gonna be waiting for ages like if you don't buy this E10 off Henry or and then you've decided you want the ZV1 you're still just waiting in limbo and your camera is rubbish and I was like yeah that is very true so we had a look on CEX I kept calling it SEX yesterday just telling everyone I've bought the camera from SEX <laughs> and it was on for 480 for the best quality because sex <laughs> can I call it sex? Do people call it sex? CEX has like different qualities and the best quality is A and it was on for 480 quid which is obviously a lot cheaper than the 650 quid that it is new so I went yesterday I know some people won't care about this but it's just so excited especially when I'm a photographer like I care about cameras so went in yesterday to have a look at it because it, they had one in Newcastle so I was like oh, I've got to go in and have a look and it looked fine and then had another crisis as to whether we should do it on the phone being like do I just buy it because it's the type of thing where I'm not making a good income from YouTube and it's a lot of money but I sometimes worry that people aren't subscribing because of the focus issue because I know it is very very annoying so Jack convinced me and it's here so I'm hoping that things are gonna get better for you guys it's gonna be a better experience to watch my videos it is a Sony which is scary as hell because I'm a Canon shooter but I'm kind of excited I don't mind mixing up what I use uh, the Sony operating system is disgusting and also it goes that way and the one that you're on at the minute I'll be able to show you once I start shooting on this flips upwards so the screen is here and I launch myself so I'm watching myself right now whilst I'm talking now I'm looking at you guys like I'm looking at the lens I'm gonna have to do this with this because if I watch myself it's gonna look like this and that's just awful for you guys so you're gonna have to bear with me whilst I get used to shooting on this also it's just, look how nice it is I'm gonna be able to carry it I'm gonna be able to put it in my pocket cannot do that with the one that I'm using now because it has an interchangeable lens it's massive so I'm gonna swap to it now and then I can actually show you my camera. I don't know if you guys have seen it. Probably. When well, I've been shooting on my big camera. Maybe. You might not have seen it, but I can show you it now. So I haven't used it yet at all. I'm gonna swap to it now. Uh and you'll have to tell me what it is. I hope I like it. This is really, really scary. I'm absolutely terrified. Uh right, so I'm gonna swap to the new camera. I can tell if it's recording. This is it. <laughs> it is more zoomed in. See, I'm looking at myself. This is going to be so yeah, fucking weird. Um, but you could um, you could not pull the screen out if you want to, because you can tell if it's recording now. I know. So you can not look at yourself and just focus on the, the lens. <laughs> but this is it. You're on the camera. Hello, everyone. I feel like you're seeing me in such better quality now. Um. Yeah, this is it. So, this is my camera. This is what you've been on for the last, how long have I been on YouTube? Five, six year? Yeah. First year of uni. You're better at this than me. Five six year? year? Five, six year? So, this is it. So, six. what I mean is, the lens literally comes off. The lens is broken. Uh, not like hugely, because obviously you guys have seen that I've been recording. But this is actually meant to come like all the way in. Uh, but... <sighs> It's, uh, it doesn't go all the way in. Uh, I did drop it. That was 100% my fault. But this is it. So you can see it does that, which I love. You guys are now off to the side. But this is it. This is my camera. It is white. This isn't black. I much prefer white. This does come in a black, but obviously I was buying it secondhand. I couldn't be picky. But yeah, this is what you've been on. Uh, my beautiful little Canon. It just wasn't good enough. It didn't make the cut. I am thinking I'm not going to sell it. I was saying this to Jack because Jack was like, well, you could, oh, look, there's a, even a chip on it. Yeah, nice. It's just such bad quality, like selling it. Cause, it's because you've dropped it a few times. Isn't yeah, it? I have. I've dropped it a few times. Uh, so the lens would need replacing or fixed if people, because some people are really good at fixing lenses. If you can't hear it anymore, can you? No. There was a rattle in it. I don't know what I've done. It didn't break the actual lens, but I think there's like something done to the lens because it was always blurry around the edge of it. Uh, so I can't believe how much better quality it is. I can see. And I can see the sound as well. Yeah. Metal, anyway. So the lens is, 
messed up. The grip, I don't know if you can see, I don't know how to change this focus there. Oh, and then it's back to me, and then is it gonna focus on the camera? <laughs> uh, that used to have a grip on it, fell off, the stickiness just completely went, and there's a little chip on it there. So, I don't, I don't know if I can sell it. And it, it would be nice to have a second camera, just if like, I need a, a B camera somewhere, yeah. so. I have it, it's not great quality, and you guys will probably be able to tell if I'm using this compared to that. But oh, this has the time-lapse function as well. So it's not gonna be just a huge yeah, file on my camera. Up, yeah, yeah. uh-huh. <gasps> you wanna come in and be fucking? Wow! And obviously this, is this has image stabilization, so you guys won't have to deal with my bumpy <laughs> filming anymore. It's so exciting! I'm sorry, you're gonna have to bear with me while I stop looking at myself. It's so exciting. <laughs> so, it's one th Sorry, you're gonna say something. I was gonna say, do you wanna get in? You've tried, haven't you? You come. I'm gonna hold you. Watch, you perch. Wow! Wow! All of them can see you and how beautiful you are! Yeah, look. Wow! Oh, good boy. That was so good! But yeah, it's one thing, like, it's so funny because it was, it wasn't anything for the new year goal where I wrote it, because obviously I wrote my goals for this year, I wrote the manifestation thing I told you about, and this wasn't on it anywhere, but it is on my vision board, so... I have one thing off my vision board! The Volvo's next. Wow. Making money. 5k subscribers would be lovely, that's on my vision board, but... Watch the ads. <laughs> I love you all for sticking about anyway, but... <sighs> yeah, I'm very excited. I hope you guys are excited too. I can't believe I finally got it. It just looks so much better quality already. Uh, but yeah, we have a full vlog to film now on the new camera. We're doing a weekend vlog. Oakley is going off to my mama's. We are off to... Ikea and Metro Center. Metro Center is the big shopping mall center. shopping center that's yeah. near indoor because it's like an indoor one. Yeah, Metro Center is the one near us. Uh, we were going to Ikea because we want to get some lights in here. There's a new collection came out and we're not entirely sure if it's going to work in this room, but we will go to Ikea and look at them. We also, I want to go to Home Sense because I want some candles. I have no candles for in here at the minute. I also want to have a look in. Primark for some underwear. Uh, I would love to not buy from Primark, but Manny doesn't have any money anymore. So yeah, but also Jack has contributed to this camera. So thank you very, very much to him. You're welcome. You guys should thank him really. Uh, because you would have been waiting a while if it was just me funding it. So we'll pay dad back, won't we? When we get famous on YouTube, it's gonna happen. Gonna get famous on YouTube and make some money. You're gonna help Auntie because people come to see you, really, yeah. So we're gonna go drop him off at my grandparents now, then head to Metro, maybe get food first, because like I say, it is already half one. And yeah, take you guys with me on the new camera. I'm so freaking scared to take it out. Like yesterday when I was carrying it through town because I bought it and then went to my sibling's tattoo with them. I had a walk like across town and I literally was carrying it like this. I was petrified and then someone walked close to me and I was like, they're gonna nick it, they're gonna nick it. And I was like, leave me alone. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. I also have the fluffy. Oh, this no, is a box not, for man. You've had all your okay, today. loves boxes. He he's absolutely loves he's them. He's had his new collar today as well. Yeah. And um, you, he just loved looking at the package. Can you me. see? Oh, he's just out, just out of frame. Come here. Come up. Can you? Oh, Look, we don't like it. it um, it's more grey than beige. Yeah, we wanted like a beigey colour and it's came very, very grey. It's a lovely material though. Mm. I don't know how to describe it. What is it? It's not cotton. No, it like kind of feels like good quality hemp sack. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. It took forever to come. It came from Ukraine. So, wow. And it's a buckle clip, so it's so much easier to get on. But mum and dad don't like it, do they? But I also have the microphone diffuser so if it is windy anywhere don't you eat it you aren't gonna have to listen to the terrible wind noise anymore it's all so exciting we're gonna head off now i hope you guys are excited and thank you to everyone who was stuck around on this camera you are incredible thank you so much and i'm so glad you don't have to deal with it anymore but honestly 
I appreciate you guys so freaking much. But yeah, you will get going on to the vlog now. Are we in the car? You looking for dad? Look at the quality. I hope you guys like it. But there. We are off now. We apparently are going to catch my little sisters before I go. So see how long we end up actually staying there. God, this feels a little bit heavier, you know. Hopefully it's not shaky for you. <laughs> we are here. We were dead excited because we Jack drives past the Metro Centre loads and saw, well not loads, it's every time he goes to work. And he saw that they had like loads of charging stations and we need to charge the car. And we were like... Right, we'll head there, put it in our maps, went the wrong way, came out, got in the back, back in the right way. They're not open yet. There's a one at Ikea. Oh, is that? It's got fast chargers, 50 kilowatts. Oh, amazing. Yeah. It was literally, there's a how, there must be, what, 20? Yeah. 20 there. So exciting. And then it's all blocked off. Fuming. But then there's two. <laughs> yeah. Two. And they're both in use. Which, is, which, which makes sense as to why they're building loads more. Yeah, but I mean, it's need. terrible for now. Yeah. And, it's, and it's, that's the only ones. Is that what you were going to say? Yeah. Only ones for the whole of the metro centre. And if you're not from the northeast, this place is massive. Like, it, it, it's huge. Like, this is one car park, right? And you see that? That's literally just one of the five multi story car parks. Four. 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 There's four of them. That's just the multi story ones. There's the whole outdoor, like, that goes all the way back to that tree line. For how big this place is, there should be more charge. You can see if you want to show them. So this is the Metro Centre, this is all of it. If I do that, you might be able to see it better. Like, that's all the, of the Yeah, that's the Metro. Center. They're the only chargers there, which is the ones I've just drove past. Ridiculous. And then you've got one at Ikea, that's it. And that's a whole retail park as well, like yeah. a separate retail park. And then you, you zoom out and there's a few in little, little places, but And this is it. this is Newcastle. Yeah. Honestly, ridiculous. I'm sure all the subscribers are absolutely sick of us talking about It needs to be better. <laughs> but yeah, it's not the car's fault. Everyone's like, oh, but you know, electric cars. Electric cars are great. Yeah. We get like minimum of a maximum charge like when it's called 160 miles and that's absolutely fine we normally get about 210 yeah. but then places don't have i'm gonna leave it we're gonna get out go get food first because it's half two and we haven't had lunch so we're gonna go get food and then home sense primark and then we're gonna go to ikea mm -hmm. yeah we are here i don't know if you can hear me this loops are in because it is very very busy but we came to slim chickens for some food and very, very busy though. I'm glad I've got my boots. Food is here. Jack got the plant based honey. No, barbecue. Based buffalo. Buffalo. And I got the honey barbecue chicken. Looks lovely. Are you like excited? The brown out of loads. The, the light in here is not it. Um, the sauce I wanted is brown out. The salt is brown out. It wasn't great, was it? It's so busy though. Like, it is so busy. We came to H&M home. It's very, very loud in here. Look at how pretty everything is. Oh, stunning. I quite like them as well. And the black one. This is very your section. It's all black and green. Oh yeah. I've made it to Home Sense. Currently looking at these cute outdoor things. Look how cute that little lantern is. Really sweet. Uh, we're going to the candles. Seems like they've changed the candles though. It used to like come all the way up to there, but now it's very short. They're quite nice chairs. No, oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, I love that velvet set. Yeah, well, box. I love Gillian. Oh, that looks chunky. Mm. That is so cute. Look at the little flowers on the top of that one though. Yeah. Right, we've got to get into this. Do it logically. Oh, look at all the Valentine's Valentine stuff. Look at this. Look at it. Oh my god, it's so freaking cute. Put the lid back on. Oh my god, no, look at the can. Oh my god, that's so adorable. What does it smell like? Hang on. It kind of smells like wet dog. We are currently trying to see out between these two candles. I have chosen this one, and Jack has chosen this one. The hard thing is that this is the both Easter candles. 
Yeah. That one smells like Christmas and that one smells like Halloween for us. Yeah, so it's Christmas versus Halloween, Jack versus me, and we both don't want to make a decision. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. I like them both, but I love this one. Otherwise. I'll smell them again. I'm just sitting in Marks and Spencer's waiting for Jack to come back from the toilet, but we ended up getting quite a bit. Uh, I'll show you guys when we get back, but we're going to go ahead to Ikea now. We have just pulled up at Ikea. Jack's plugging the car in because Ikea actually has charges and um, we are right next to the entrance, which is just brilliant. Like right next to it so absolutely buzzing we popped to Krispy Kreme because it's my favourite and we're going to sit and eat them first Jack has finally been able to start getting them because they've just released their vegan ones you are they're good aren't they yeah they just taste like the same as yours. I tried Jack's the other day and oh my god it tastes like you wouldn't I'm just, I'm just hoping they haven't given us like that, a non-vegan one yeah that's what I was worried about I said that to him I was like are you sure it's not just a normal one because it it tastes exactly the same, so yeah, we're gonna have crispy. I love crispy greens. I'm so excited. Hello. This is the mirror that I want. I want it in black though. This one's the silver one. They never have the black one in at this IKEA because I always look on the website. Yeah. Uh, but it's 150 quid. But I want it. Why can't I get these Converse to sit right? Why are the tongues off? Three way, you're walking properly. Could you put the tongues back to normal, please? Why isn't it staying like that? It should be the way you're walking, like on your feet. It's very Probably annoying. Walking, like, but I've got flat, I've got flat feet, don't I? Yeah, because when you're walking, if you're pushing in with your leg, it's probably pushing the tongue away. I'm great. Another thing to blame for my flat feet. This is what we are here for. This collection. Dimmable, yeah, I know, yeah. We can't decide which one we want. I want this one. Jack wants this one. I like this one. See, yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah. I just try and find one that's an actual one because I just worry about the weight of it. They've got one, so oh, I'm oh, looking oh, from that way. Yeah. There's the um, circle one. What should there be none left? It's one here. So there's only one left. One? But the box looks a bit damaged. Mm. As long as the thing's not damaged. Why are you worried about the weight? So uh, it's a solid wall, so we'll have to drill a solid wall. But I'm worried about it falling. What off? Off. And breaking because it's, it's good glass as well. Doesn't see how heavy it is. I can't imagine very. I get why you why he likes this one, but I just feel like the white's not gonna work in the living room. Cause it would work if it went on a green wall, but we don't have any green walls to put it on. I'm saying, I think the white one would work if it was going on a green wall, but I just don't like because it's wall. white. Yeah, that's the thing. These look warmer because they're covered in yellow as well. Yeah, uh -huh. but is that going to be too warm? Because you're right, like, I mean, we do... All the other metallic stuff in the living room is gold, and that definitely isn't gold. Yeah. It's bronze. And it looks better on this coloured wall. Yeah. So that's why I thought maybe that. I get what you're saying, but I, don't, I just don't feel like the white will work. I'm so annoyed that these are red. Like, why would you pick red? Oh, I love the light effect. It's just, yeah. Like, during the day, that's just going to be red. We are back in the car. I got very, very thirsty. Oh, there we go. Got very... <laughs> You've got to keep that open. <laughs> got very, very thirsty and got very tired. So I kind of stopped vlogging because I just couldn't be bothered to be in there anymore. But we ended up getting... Can you see it? A plant. Because <laughs> uh, it was reduced. But... Tea, yeah, it was like £13. We couldn't not get it. Uh, uh, tea lights. And we bought the two lights so we can try them, see which one, and then bring the other one back. I'm not confident either of them are going to work. No. They're the right like design and concept but they're the wrong colour so we could potentially um cover this the light strip on at least the white one with like a kind of orangey tint to make it a bit darker potentially even just with like a highlight or something like that or like that type of pen do you mean the actual light yeah because you've seen it's the wrong color oh do you mean the, the, the thing the material? yeah right, okay. like i don't want that white i don't want like bronze i want gold so 
What did you say though? We'll if, see. If, if you don't like a white as well, but we like that lamp, you could paint it. I could try and paint it. I black. could, yeah. Oh, but... green might even work. Like we can use the same green as what's on the walls. Yeah. That might look quite good. We'll see. We think we're going to have to go home before picking Oakley up because stuff's like on his bed. So. And that plant's poisonous for dogs. Yeah, so we can't, we can't eat it. So we're going to go back home and then pick him up. We've just got back home and guys, would you believe it? This is the same lighting that we normally have for an evening. You know, when it's like orange and like terrible lighting. This is the same lighting. So I feel like we've made a good decision. Uh, I am not feeling well. Uh, I have a serious one. I'll explain it to you later because I'm just going to go and get changed, put comfy clothes on. Come look at this. Like... Yeah. It couldn't... It's crazy. It's, it's absolutely mental. You're going to say it couldn't get better, but not big time. No, I wasn't yeah, saying it couldn't get better. It couldn't... I was going to say the, it couldn't even, like, capture my face on the old camera. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. I'm going to put some comfy clothes on and just... I feel a bit more comfortable. Okay, I think I don't even have to face the lamp. I can't believe it. Normally, I have to be like this to even talk to you guys and I literally can just be can I this is pushing it <laughs> anyway I'm probably just gonna do this out of habit anyway I think I'm just um overwhelmed and that's why I feel sick I was talking to Jack about this on the way home but I was saying the feeling that I've I got in the car was that I was just exhausted and like so tired and I was saying to Jack that before Covid I used to feel like that every weekend like every time we went out in the car on the way there on the car on the way back mainly on the way back that is the feeling that I would get and I can only say now that I think it's overwhelm and autism because I understand that but back then I just used to feel so freaking tired and I used to think I was so unhealthy I used to think it was because I wasn't fit and healthy enough I had something wrong with where well, I don't have something wrong with me but I used to think that I was like it was a physical thing but I just I think it's just autism because the more I'm learning about it and the more I'm reading about it it's that we feel so tired all the time because like the world just isn't designed for us because like at some metro center there's bright lights everywhere. There's different music on in every single shop. There are people there that I have to deal with. And I got walked into like six different times and that is so stressful for me. Like I hate it. Um, I was wearing uncomfortable clothes, not uncomfortable, uncomfortable, but just like I could feel them. Uh, my jeans are getting a bit small for me now and my underwear is driving me up the wall. And there's just all of this stuff. And then obviously there's decisions as well. So like we had to decide where we we're gonna eat, how to decide what candles we want. We were sniffing a lot of candles. So that was a lot of like sensory stuff as well. And I think it's just, it's just not for my brain. And Jack was like, before COVID, you obviously didn't know you had autism, but maybe it was just, and I was talking about how I was thinking that it was, I was just tired back then. And he was like, yeah, you probably just thought you were tired or like, you were thinking, oh, speak of the devil, hang on. Anyway, he was saying that maybe you just thought you weren't having a good time. And I was like, no, like it's not a, it's not a conscious thing. Like I 100% think that I'm having a good time and I'm like, why am I so tired? I want to be out here. I've had a great day. I've really enjoyed it. I just, I feel so freaking tired. It's like a physical thing. That's why I thought like I, I had something wrong with me in terms of my body, but I think it's just autism like I really do and it's such a specific type of tiredness that I get where I just feel like I can't do anything and don't get me wrong I get overwhelmed at other points and I understand that that's overwhelmed but this is just like exhaustion and I've not done anything exhausting like nothing's nothing's happened so I don't know I think it's crazy how much autism symptoms are physical symptoms and people don't get that and we're not like faking it and it's not just all a mental thing and we can't just like book up our ideas and do stuff like I literally feel exhausted I think the sickness thing is that I think it's my body being like you too 
you're too tired to do anything and I have been trying to wake up earlier if you guys have seen that video so it's not just like I think I'm tired off that because it's a different routine so I think it's just it's just autism and it's not it's not all just not like and change and it being difficult in general it's just all physical as well and I've probably repeated myself absolutely loads because I'm not doing great in terms of my brain functioning so I do apologize if I've repeated myself but this is where my head is at unfortunately and that means not being able to communicate very well so yeah I think I'm just gonna sit and watch down and Jack's gone to Morrison's to get me some food because every food is making me feel sick at the thought so he's going to get me the one food I can stomach and we're going to sit and watch Downton and I'm going to take my hair out because this hurts after a while so yeah I will catch up with these tomorrow because it's going to be a weekend vlog hopefully it's not too long for you already but I'll catch up with you tomorrow I'll go through the things that we bought sorry about that ping and Jack's making sure that he's getting the right thing and we'll try and get that light up on the wall <laughs> Jack's being the wood lice off Bugs Life <laughs> Anyway, hello, it is now the next day. We are just off to the gym. Oakley is waiting very patiently for his food and his Kong, which Jack hasn't put on the floor. Well, he won't, he's on his bed. Should I give him a dentist stick as well? Or should I not? No, no, no. Good boy, that was naughty. Should I give him a dentist stick as well? I think that'll be enough. Okay, right. Uh, yeah, we are off to the gym together. So yeah, we're gonna go now. <laughs> we are here, we are both very tired. Can't be bothered. So we'll see how the session goes. What are you training today? Upper. Upper. So am uh, I. I train the same thing every Sunday. Uh, Jack changes it up sometimes. <laughs> Okay, it is now a little bit later. We have had lunch. Uh, uh, nothing exciting, I'm not gonna go through what we had for lunch, but we've had lunch. I actually have started eating these Lindal's protein pudding things. They're all right, they're 14 grams of protein for a silly amount of like calories. I mean, it's not great because I am trying to increase my calories, but 14 grams for this little pot. I'm buzzing, I, like I'm all right with them. Like I don't think they're like, delicious but they're all right I put chocolate in them and I get 15 grams of protein so I'm buzzing so I've had one of them the plan now is I am going to do some work because I need to edit a video and get it uploaded today I left it last minute because it was like a week-long video so I need to edit and upload that Jack is playing on his game at the minute do you know what you're playing on at the minute Spider-Man you enjoying it yeah it's good yeah it's good. I started playing Spider-Man 2 first and then I was like, oh, I can get Spider-Man 1 for free on PlayStation, so yeah, I'll play that first. So he's playing that and then he is going to, you're going to go take Oakley out, right? Yeah. Whilst I do work and then we're going to put the light up. I've said that I want to have a look what it looks like during the day and in the evening. So we need to do that. You need to go and get back in time so that there is light. But I'm going to start doing some work now. I will also take you through what we bought from TK Maxx slash HomeSense. But I need to get this video edited. I have just finished. Should I move the Primark back? I'm not going to be able to see very well, are we? Uh, so I've just... <laughs> don't blind yourself. <laughs> I've just finished editing. I'm going to put these lights on the wall because it's still semi-bright. We haven't got any lights on yet. And this is how bright the living room is. So... You all right? Yeah, it's a box. Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's so nice the way it lights up though. Oh, look at, oh, it looks beautiful off that back wall. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Beautiful. Right, we're gonna have to swap so you can see your opinion. Hang on. Wait, the bottom? Yeah, no, no. <laughs> right, yeah. Oh my God, this is so freaking heavy. Isn't it, I know. 
does look a bit odd, but... But look how beautiful that lighting looks on the back wall. Go stand up there. No, it does, I know. Doesn't it? Yeah. How, <laughs> come turn it off and then go stand back there. It just, look, it just looks a bit... I'm so annoyed it's not gold. I'm so annoyed because I love it. It just looks a bit different, like a bit weird. I love it. Like, I love the design. Why is it not gold? It could work, but it, it is it is different, it is not as we expected. Woo! Woo! Are you alright? Okay, it's okay, it's just don't stop us Why is it gold? Oh it looks oh it looks so good though. The light. Oh. This is annoying as hell. What the heck? Right, I'm gonna try the other one. Bloody hell. Is that dim? No. Jesus Christ, that's bright. Put it anywhere you want, really, couldn't you? Yeah, but. Put the wire where the wire sits. Blood, God. That's very bright. Yeah. That would never go on. Stop it. Oh, put it on the wall again. Turn it off. Oh, see, I think that look just looks weird. It looks like we've just got like a, a hoop on the wall. Yeah. Hang on, we'll swap so you can have a look. So you mean by just a hoop? It's just a white hoop on a white yeah. hoop. Are you able to turn it on? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was not a smart <laughs> move. Because it's a what against a white wall. I like it's it though. So bright. I like it though. It's too bright. But it looks it looks like a proper like halo light. I, I like it. It's too bright. Imagine having this on at night time. Yeah. Well, we'll try it when it's try it when it's dark. dark. When it's dark. dark. But yeah. because it's, it's on a white, it would be fine if it was on a green wall like that. That's yeah. less bright. Yeah. But because it's on a white wall, it's just like light. Look at them. We could paint a halo like a like a, a archer of green. That's the thing though. If it was like and if it was through there, you could. Yeah. You could. Just yeah, but, it would have to be an arch that's only a bit wider than that circle. But I don't think an arch would work because we've got arches here. It yeah. would be like we're just painting arches. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, right. I think try it later when the when the sun's gone down. Okay. Uh, and we'll see what we think. But Oakley, leave it. I'm just so annoyed that that one's not gold because it would be perfect if it was gold because we've got little touches of gold in here already. I love the... Oh, this is so annoying. It's not even like you could um, fix it to be gold either. No. Like I like IKEA, what are you doing? Rose gold was so like three, four years ago. Why? Why would you pick rose gold and not gold? I had that weird red thing that had as well. Yeah, the other one was red. What are you doing? Ah! Oh. Jack has took Oakley out for a walk and I'm just editing and look at the sky. Can you see how pink it is? Look at it. Ah, oh, I know you can't really see it as much, but like you can see it in comparison to the white. It's so pink and pretty. I bet Jack's having the, such a lush time out there. It looks stunning. The sun is down. So this is it without the light. Oh God, very blue. God, it's it's so bright. It kind of looks cute, you know. Yeah. It's so hard to tell on the camera. Hang on, ignore Oakley, he's being a pain. There we go. Uh, it's not picking up on camera very well, but it doesn't look like that harsh of a light. It is diffused a bit. Yeah, probably. Put a bit more. Yeah. Turn it off if you can. I see what you mean. It it does just feel a bit it's white. <laughs> yeah. Is that where I was saying? Like a, I think when when people come over and they go, What's that on your wall? Then we have to like It's a light. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, like when it's turned off. No. It looks nice when it's on. It's, it's a shame it doesn't have a dim, because if we could dim this. Yeah. It would look good, I think. Yeah. Oh, it looks so good. The light, like, dimming. Yeah, and you just have it, like, as low as that. Yeah. Turn it all the way up. 
Is that all the way? It's all the way. Oh wow, it's not a huge amount of light then. No. It works so much better though. Doesn't like it look lovely? Like the shape of it and stuff like that, yeah. Why is it bronze? What? Tad wife. It's ridiculous. I've been in the bath, which is why my hair is like, my boob isn't that, is it? No. Um, so my hair is like this. What, when did I last, <laughs> when did I last film? Uh, when we're just singing in the light. Yeah. yeah, I got overwhelmed with the light again. I don't know what the heck we're doing. I'm so sad that it's not gold. It would be, I was saying to Jack, it would be perfect if it was just freaking gold. Uh, I've, I've decided I don't like the white one at all, but we're gonna look at them again tomorrow. I don't want the white one, but Jack likes it. So we'll look at them again in the light. Then I played about with this new camera a bit, like looked at the settings, then it died. Then I ate some crisps and went in the bath, red, one on my phone, then struggled to get out of the bath, so Jack had to come and rescue me. <laughs> I couldn't get out. Not like physically, I just couldn't mentally get out of the bath. So Jack came and got me out. And now he's forcing me to have tea. Yeah, you gotta eat. I don't like eating at the minute. You I really eat. don't. But then I've lost all my muscle. Jack's making me eat. I thought we'd go through, I hope everyone's ignoring this. Uh, I thought I'd go through the stuff that we got at home set. So, got a lot of candles. First candle we got is a black one. It's uh, Sweet Dreams and it's lavender and coconut. I like it. I think I like it. Okay. Do you mind if I tell them about what, what I had? I wasn't sure if I liked it or not. <laughs> so, is my face like super red? When Jack goes to do business, <laughs> when he goes to the toilet, he always sprays a specific one of his body sprays. And because he always sprays that spray, I now associate that with poop. <laughs> so I was worried that this smelled like the poop spray. But I think I like it. It does smell a lot like that spray though. Mm -hmm. I really like that spray. It's not a problem of like me not liking it. It's just I associate it with when Jack's gone to the toilet but I'm pretty confident I like it but I wanted a black one because we want more black candles more black things in the living room black candle smells are awful man, man men brr, lynx it's gonna smell like lynx oh freaking disgusting oh this one's Jack's Jack won he won yeah. I let him win um because the one that I, basically we didn't want to buy both because it was just, it was getting expensive. We spent a lot in home sense. And uh, the thing that tipped it was like, there's a few of the ones that I've bought because a lot of them center around vanilla of the ones that I buy. And then some candles that are vanilla. Okay, the toilet, toilet. Here you go. Yeah. You're in the toilet, toilet. Don't spray the spray. <laughs> a lot of the ones, that have vanilla in them. It's really 50-50 when you actually like them, whether they smell nice, like sometimes they just smell like disgusting. So I was like, well, there's a chance that it's gonna be awful when we light it, so we'll just get yours because it smells like Halloween candles, so it smells fine. Anyway, moving on. I got this one next. So these ones are actually everywhere in Home Sense at the minute, and they are what they're called North Muse, and they have crystals in them so I am visiting my friend Lauren this week who has just had a baby and I'm going to meet their beautiful baby and she loves crystals like she's a crystal gal she fully believes in crystals so I saw these and I was like I can't not get her one so I've got her that as a little present for having the baby she got I, I gave her like presents for the baby shower but I thought I'd bring that to be like this makes you feel good so got that next one is what's it wakiki i don't know how you pronounce that that's a beach in california isn't it why kiki wakiki beach this is it smells like coconuts again and jack says it smells like a pina colada it's really nice it's really nice but it smells like a pina colada and look how pretty it is it's like this beautiful dusky pink and then the label it is very bright 
Look how sweet I love smelling fog stuff. They're not always like the goodest smelling ones, like in terms of like when you light them, they're actually really smelly. I find them quite 50-50, but they're just beautiful. Then last candle, another coconut one. I really like coconut and I really think it's like springy summery. And I'm really trying to lean into different like smells for different like parts of the year. So in like um autumn halloween i've leaned in i like pumpkiny ones that's like i like that and then in christmas i don't know how it's going like vanilla -y, not cinnamony but i do like the like cinnamon christmasy ones but really warm smells and then i've been wanting to get into like spring summer ones and i think coconut will just work really well for it so i got this one which is a cute little like sagey color and it says it's tahitian coconut and it's by ambient cove and oh my god it smells so nice so i'm very excited for the house to smell like coconut other things we picked up were some beko poop bags for oakley because we bought the we used to use beko when we first got oakley like religiously and then pets at home finally brought out their own like degradable poop bags and we bought them but they are horrific they break so easily they're nowhere near big enough like i end up having to use three when oakley goes to the toilet and the becca ones are just so big i've never had any worry with them like with my nails like if you knew like my nails are sharp <sighs> did you see how quickly they focus on my nails they are sharp so i get very very scared picking up his poop whereas with the becca ones never had that problem so and you take a max Sold them, got them, then we got a dish brush because I hate getting my hands wet. I hate it, I can't do it. Washing the dishes, I can't do it. And n normally, Jack just does it. Whereas we saw a TikTok talk, I can't remember what it was talking about, and I kind of just forgot dish brushes were a thing. And I was like, oh my God, that might help because then I don't have to have my hands under the stream of water i can just have it on the handle and then like brush the plate and these were the one these are a one where you can replace the brush once it gets worn down but i mean it's pretty it looks pretty durable and this it says plastic free this is silicone but it said plastic free on the thing so i'm not sure if maybe that's recyclable or maybe it's just really durable i don't know i don't know but we've got a dish brush and then the last thing is something different i uh jack kind of persuaded me to get it because I was like I would like it and Jack was like I'll just get it then because it's only a tenner. I got a book so if you've been around a while you might remember me talking about how the bookshelf that we've got on the back wall that's got like the big frame in it that's kind of got no books in it that was meant to be a display bookshelf with like display books and just putting pretty things on it and I was just going to do that slowly as we went because decorations and ornaments and stuff are expensive so I thought I'll just go as I go if I see anything I like I'll get it and also I want a book for one of the middle like cabinets as well but I want a black book but this is black so I feel like this might work if not it can go on the other shelves but this is a landscape uh, photographer of the year book which I didn't know was a thing so I'm gonna have to follow that because this is the type of photography I'm into like landscape travel and it's just a beautiful like story not what's it called, what they call coffee table book uh, with all of the photos in that was kind of like one in this year we had a look this is so stupid it said nowhere in this book does it say what year this is like it's literally landscape photographer of the year You'll have to guess what year it is. So we've guessed that it's 2020s because it said it was first published in 2021s. I, we're assuming it's 2020. So it's got beautiful, beautiful pictures in. Let me guess it like, oh, <laughs> that's so funny. I opened it on a Northumberland one. There's a lot in the Northeast, which is quite nice. I mean, it is beautiful up here. Oh, that's the gray one. Oh, I, do you know, oh, it's just beautiful. It's my type of a thing. And it was only a tenner for how big that is. And it's gonna go on my bookshelf and it's mine kind of stuff buzzing so that was a tenner do you want to know the prices of stuff let's go through the prices of stuff that book was a tenner that they were 8.99 and they are how many are the 270 yeah 270 and they last forever then 7.99 8.99 12.99 this one for lauren was expensive because obviously it's got crystals in 9.99 
and then $7.99. They're not bad for candles, but they, and then this, I don't know how much, oh, this was £4.50, which if it's going to help me be able to do the dishes without having to ask Jack every time, it's worth the five quid. So yeah, that's everything that we got from HomeSense. I was just, I don't know, I felt proud of myself for buying the book. I was like, oh, I feel like I've treated myself. Anyway, I've been talking for far too long with my hair looking like this. So I'm going to make my tea. I might catch up with you afterwards. Should I finish the vlog now? I think I might finish the vlog now, now you know, because we're literally going to go watch Downton. Uh, I have spent my last bit of energy filming this clip, I think, because I just, I don't know, Metro really, really wore me out. Ikea wore me out and then decisions wear me out. And that's kind of what this weekend has been about. So we are literally going to go watch Downton Abbey whilst eating our tea and I'm very happy with that because I'm very much enjoying rewatching Downton. So that is going to be it. I'm sorry Jack's not here to finish off the vlog. I'm sure he will say thank you for watching as well. If you did enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up, a like, whatever YouTube's calling it nowadays. If you are excited about this camera please let me know. If you're a subscriber, like I said earlier, thank you so much for sticking about. I very much appreciate it and I hope you like the new camera, I hope there's not any problems with it, and I'm just very, very excited that it seems like it's going to be a lot better quality for you guys. So anyway, thank you for making it to the end, and I shall hopefully see you in another video. Bye.